back in the day, these old school Italian delis, they were a normal thing. This is every, like, all, all over the town in New York, back east, where those Italian communities prospered. And then same with its Italian culture and movies, like, you know, all the different shows and movies that come out about Italian culture. Like, this is something that makes people remind them of that, you know. And so I think we're one of the last to stay doing this, you know. And I think that's part of what has made us so special and unique. And that has helped us uh, throughout the years. North Beach, in my life, has changed a pretty good deal. It's probably gotten a block shorter, but from my grandpa and my dad's era, it's gone down five blocks, four blocks, you know? And so, that's part of another calling, I feel, is to help keep this special. Your great-grandfather worked here and took it over? This is true. Yeah? yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What was his name? His name's Alfredo. Yeah, Alfredo Mastrelli. He was born in Torino, Italia. Um, he was a rice farmer. With a small fortune that he had, he decided to come over to the States, you know, because there was a great opportunity going on at the time in America. Um, he flew, he not flew, he took the ship over into Oakland. He was living in Oakland and he worked here at this Molinari Delicatessen. At the time, it was Molinari Salami Factory Company. Um, he worked with PG Molinari, who is the owner of, you know, the Molinari Salami side of it. But this deli has been my great grandpa's side. Um, how that happened, that transition was the 1896 earthquake, or I'm sorry, 1906 earthquake. Um, this building received a lot of damages, so did the, the other factory down on Broadway Street. And once that happened, um, the PG Molnar family, they decided to, let's, let's buy another factory, let's buy another building down in Dogpatch, which is like South San Francisco and my great-grandpa decided to purchase this retail space. And so we've been working together with them ever since. Okay. And so that's been like the main, the main story here. Okay, but your family bought the place in 1910, 1912? 19, uh, 1910. 1910, yeah. for $2, for uh, 20 bucks? For that, I don't know exactly. Yeah. So it goes into your family, and your grandfather obviously worked here uh, yep, growing his up. his whole life. And yeah. your dad worked here. Yep, his whole life too. Okay. And at what point, how did you end up? You're the owner now? My dad, well, I work for my dad. So okay. my dad's the owner. Okay. And so, but I, I make sure I run everything and make sure everything's running smooth. You're the manager. Yeah. Right. You run exactly. the place. Exactly. True. Okay, for your dad. Mm -hmm. Who is that? How old? Uh, he is uh, 56 now. Oh, okay. So he's yeah. a young guy. He's pretty young, yeah. Okay. But he started when he was like six years old. Does he come in? No. No. No, okay. not anymore. Okay. Yeah. You are in your 20s? Yeah, mid-20s. I'm 27. Okay. So. And how long have you had the place now? I've been uh, here five years. Running it for five years? Mm-hmm. Since you were 22? Yeah. Right after I got married. So oh. okay. it's funny because my dad was like, you can't get married. I don't think you're ready to get married, son. But like that, I'll take over the business. I'll do what I got to do to make sure we're good. And then that's what happened. Okay. And so I've been making sure we've been good here and then it's helping me and my, my family grow. So, yeah. Now, why did you want to take it over? I wanted to take it over because, like, growing up as a young kid, like, seeing all, like, these Italian guys, I like, seen Franco, my dad, all, like, basically, to me, it was like family. You know, I was here when I was 8, 10, 12, all the way through, working weekends, you know, throughout uh, middle school, high school. And I always knew that this was something, like, if school and college didn't really work out for me, this was something that I knew that I, I would love to do. Um, and so for me, it was just like a calling. I was I was in school, but then there was a draw to this place. There was a there was like a there was a um, yeah. I, I'll say a calling, a calling to be here. So I mm -hmm. felt like it was right. You know, I want to continue what my my family's done. I think it's so cool too, because a lot of kids my age, they're like I have best friends who work in Google, who are consultants in tech, this and that, but none of them do the, the field of work that I do. And I think that's pretty cool. And how's it going? I mean, you, you couldn't have picked a worse time, right? <laughs> yeah, no, it was um, one of the most challenging things I've ever done to handle it through COVID, through 2020 and all that, you know, the craziness. Um, it's, but like, we've been blessed. We've been very, we've been very well. We we're very fortunate to have a great um, clientele who they love this place, you know, a lot of our clients, they've been coming here, our customers, they've been coming here since they were kids, you know, their parents brought them in here, and it's been a um, institution and a um, landmark for some 
in North Beach, you know, and representing the Italian American culture. And so we've we've been so lucky to have that base, you know, come in. And also, like, um, I've brought in, you know, all the online ordering, like DoorDash, Uber Eats, Postmates, and that's helped us a lot. Also, like, survive this pandemic. But we're on the tail end of it now, and it seems like the COVID rebound is real, and we're we're doing well. And we're very fortunate. Is your number one sale a sandwich? Yeah. Yeah. And what yeah. would that sandwich be? The, the number one is the Molinari Special, Italian combo. Tell us about oh, it. Oh yeah, it's a combination of our cold cuts. Uh, you get our homemade house meats um, that the Molinari family makes, like salami, mortadella, galantina, zampino, um, head cheese if you like. Um, the works on a beautiful fresh made roll. All right, well good luck. Thank you for talking to me and I hope, uh, what, another hundred years? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. My kids at least. Yeah, we'll you, see what they want to do. Do you have kids now? <laughs> no, just practicing. Just but, uh, practicing. <laughs> yeah. But, Your uh, hope is they'll take it over one day. We'll see. If, that, if that's what happens, it happens. So I would love that, but I'm not going to force them. Just yeah. like my dad didn't force me, it was just something I chose to do.